Oh, Pravati's gone. Pravati? Oh, there you are. So yeah, I was just about to go... Oh, hi everyone. Sorry about that. Fucking crashy crash. No need. Let's see if we can do it again. Yep. Shit me, why are you fucking there? Ooh. The pro gamer move this guy. Go on, turn around. Show me your blue bits. There we are. Loving those blue bits. I'm operating under like the potentially the misapprehension that these things are weak against energy weapons, but who knows? Everyone, that's me, is fine. Thanks for caring. Right, where were we up to? So we were looting some dudes. Captains and robots. Sneaky. Or maybe not. Not so sneaky. Taste the freedom, yo. It's all kind of a bit crazy, isn't it? I think this is the way I came in. Well, it wasn't really. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I think it was. I snuck around, didn't I? Maybe not. Yes, please, I'll have all of those things. Alright, what's next? Go and see Reed, couldn't I? And go, Soz Reed. Fucked your town up. Have a play with a plasma rifle. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh. Cool man. Right, should we see if we can't like get this uh see if we can cause cause crashing out with this cave? We had the die robot selected, didn't we? We followed the town. We followed the river up towards the town. A little save.
Marauders. Can I see what your brains look like? Certainly did. We certainly did. Where did one go? That's okay. I was just uh, trying something out. That's going to go pop, in it? Seems foolhardy to keep lockpicks next to your big safe. Easy. Oh, that was what I was looking. Oh, I didn't realise I was looking for that. Cool. Happy with that. Bonus quest completion. Best kind. I don't mind, I'm enjoying this game, I am, genuinely, but, um, oh, I don't know, just, I, I play this one once a stalker, and, and, oh, I don't know. You just, you see this, you start to see the holes. But, you know, come on now, it's just two different, very, they're very different games. Very, very different games. Come on. There's a lot of them up there, isn't there? Eee, don't fancy my chances, to be fair. Run. Or sneak. Sneak. No more. Right. 
this wonderful thing. I like it, whatever it is, I like it. Where are you at, you little automaton? What's happened over here? Got a bit of drama. Oh, fuck. That sounded way worse than it was. You friendly? Ah, you know. But I could fix him up tough. Hello, Mr. Robot. Searching for a repair bay. Error. Navigation oh. systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you want to. Yeah, let crack on. Um. Should I do it? No, you do it. Yep, I see the problem. His Navmar got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Jeremy. Well, Space's <laughs> choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Okay. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self diagnostics. Cool, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. Well, at least space trying Earth then, is it? Remind all colonists that serving the Space Earth Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. Fair enough. How are we going now? Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Yes, I dealt with the mechanical scout. He's no longer a threat. He, see, she, oh, nice to God, Pavati. Look what you've done. Vending machine. I wonder what that was. Thank you. Are you um. Please do not disturb. You're going to the repair bay. You can stop there. Okay. Whatever, Jezza. Russian pill. I need to look at like how these things work. There's a mad old dude that fixed up the time I fixed the robot. Do -do -do.
It's okay, Mr. Man. He works for us now. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. Oh yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe it is. Yeah. Yeah, like definitely a mechanical trying to sabotage you. That scout to scrap with Nothing to do with me. Hold his optic cables out of his head case. Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. Yeah, Ludwig did all that stuff. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. <laughs> but you are one, and the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. How well, Ludwig, if you've got one. Fear in their cold mechanical I'll certainly entertain the prospect. Cantina, lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Alrighty. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Mm, true. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. All right. I mean, it's, it's been there for years and it's not been found, but... Whatever. Oh, I didn't realize there was a workbench in here. It's stealing it, isn't it? All right. Let's go back to Emerald Vale. I'm oh, sorry, Edgewater. See what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right. Read high about the power thing. I feel like shit's going to be going down when I go back in here. I don't maybe I should have finished these missions first, but whatever. What are you going to do? Science comes first. You okay? Don't know how long we'll last without power. Yeah, looks like you'll have to move somewhere else. Let's get some polish off first. Ludwig's bundle. I do love a Ludwig's bundle. Residents talking about the power being out. Put the power still on to me. Everything's fine. Nice. Why is it though? Why is it? Machine gun, task force blocker. That's it. Yeah, I can't really see what it could be. Return to Ludwig. Okay. You okay in here with that power? I've been rambling about some colony ship. What's that to do? Alright, oh, I don't know about any colony ships. Power's gone. Law knows how long. 
Looking to get drunk? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Aren't we all, Amelia? Play Aren't we all? You feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. Go ahead. So what's your story, Amelia? I don't see how that's any of your business. No. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. What happened? What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Oh, Amelia. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like, when are you going to pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero G? Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Go on my spaceship and be a scientist. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. You belong in a lab. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. Alright. Thanks for the story. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. Okay. That's what I know. So, what's your story? Trapped space by a scientist. What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you worked for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. I'm not. I'm a freelancer. You're one of those freelancers then? Running about Halcyon, selling off your loyalties to the highest bidder? Well, not yet. But... Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. What if I told you I just got shot in space by a crazy scientist? She's going to be like, no, you didn't. Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three-drink minimum. That's true. <laughs> fucking clear where I am. After a few drinks. Seems to me you've got a head start. Yeah. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. Well, my world is these you'll be living walls, with them soon. That door and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. Uh... And you want to get out of town? What with the plague and all? Mm, no. There you go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you that freelancer media? Freelance thinker. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. I do need to go see the vicar, actually. That's true. All right. Toodaloo. And the vicar. Right there. Illustrated manual. Where is the vicar? I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. I don't know what have I done? This is a result of the guy I've done, isn't it? All of this. That's all raised. What's happening? 
Hello? Oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? I have a finger. Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. He was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Yeah, no, I haven't. Not Something yet. to report? No. Nothing to report, Miley. Let's go see the vicar first. I'm not about to deal with this whole uh, get out of town, don't come back thing. What quests to do? You still with me, Pavati? You are cool. Cool. Okay. All the lights in town went out. Since then, I've had wild-eyed workers begging my guidance. Kind of your job to give them I'm guidance, surprised mate. you would go along with this action, Miss Holcomb. I'm not sure what the right and wrong of it is, sir. But leaving the deserters with neither walls nor lights would have left them to the mercy of marauders. Let's hope walls alone are sufficient, then. Fingers crossed. Fuck this town and fuck Reed Thompson. Um. At least people are healthy and living as they want. Welcome to freedom. Huh. Freedom. Indeed. These workers are tame as sissy pigs in a slaughterhouse. They'll just mill about confused and wait for orders. Well, that's fine. Get them to you generate power. You yourself to decide the fate of strangers. I don't know whether that's confidence or arrogance. <laughs> Either way, I'm fascinated. Oh. How did you know I'm an outsider? I've never seen you before, and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but a new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild, wild frenzy, frenzy, like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Miss Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? Because you're a cock, mate. There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. <laughs> Sounds like you're terrible at your job, Vicar. <laughs> no, I am not. Though there is something to your accusation. It is wrong for me to succumb to distress. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Yeah, right, sort it out. You're the fucking vicar. Oh, excuse me. I've got your bucket away. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. Uh. What the fuck is this? Is this... <laughs> French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! Huh. I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. Greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. Well, you better learn fucking it French then, so mate. Desperate. I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Just fucking learn French. Wasted. Hmm. Why did you think the book held it? No, it's, it's cosmic retribution. Mm. Two. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the philosophist school of thought, so the book is banned in this colony. It'd be a real shame if 
uh, Spacer's Choice was a find out, wouldn't it? The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokoni journal. Do I not know what, I know, do I know what philosophers is? I'm a scientist and an engineer. Um, maybe like philosophy is like a, a kind of a, a, a historical thing in this context. Philosophism's a false religion. Philosophism. Dick <laughs> of Max, you they believe daft racist. In stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bocconi's thoughts came more than a century after his death. All right. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure translators. Well, it just so happens, Vicar Max. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. A bit of a twat, though. Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. She's much better than a hammer with a hammer than I'm you. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Well. Oh. I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. <laughs> that all part of your vicar training? <laughs> well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. Vi, what do you think? Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Hmm. No, okay. Maybe I'll come back. Never come. Maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Woo! Level up. Level six now. Creeping up. Help me. Should we go tech again? Bang. Oh, we can specialize. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to throw some more points into melee as well. Or maybe guns now. What do we think? That is already pretty high. Let's go into guns a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Here's a pick. What should we have? It's a sciencey thing. I think that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, mate. All good. All good. Fuck you, Vicar Max. Maybe I'll come back. I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are going to be all right now they got power. But what about the town? All those people. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Yeah. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't and then... Jen, in it? Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. I'm... Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No. Intrigue. 
exposition. Uh, let's go back to the skeezer. Don't worry about the whole, uh, the whole power thing, guys. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. A big old door. A loading screen. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Hello there. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage yep, us. Yep, it almost certainly is. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine spacer choice injury customizing unit designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. Alrighty, so the mod is you it. Ever want to see a mechanical flailing yeah. around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. <laughs> oh, old Ludwig. Can you come with me, Ludwig? Thanks God for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Well, my dude, it just so happens. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. Jesus Christ, Ludwig. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically <laughs> speaking... It just so happens, Ludwig, that I picked up a logic module. module. Like this one? If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero-G to your memory. I've got to go back. Ludwig. Uh, I definitely picked one up. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage It us. definitely is, Ludwig. It definitely is. Go on. You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculars. Pray to the law that you never do. A mechanical never forgets the face of its enemy. First they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our lives, they will take away our very lives. Uh, well, I don't think we go back there. I like I'm moving very slowly. It's because I'm quite overloaded, that's fine. To be expected. Give him a hoarder. Hoardy man. Yeah. Do we need two of these? We don't need two of these, do we? It's a cell phone ship. We've got loads of stuff. What's the right one, Ethan? Do you want anything, Pavati? Maybe this stuff's better for you? 
rock a, rock a hibernation suit, couldn't she? Yeah. No, all right, fine. You can sell it, really. Sell it or break it down. Kill some marauders. That's a race. She don't know how to skip off her own head. I can hear the bad things. Can't see the bad things. We need to like up our weapons game here. What have we got? Damage rating. Light machine gun. Yeah, man. Get those right for the bots. And an assault rifle. Why not? And uh, what's this? One six five. Fuck me, that's pretty good. Hello? Fuck me. Golden, how are you? No. I'm a hide. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, Doc Mabel. Or Bertie Cotton. Hi there. How are we all? Ah, oh, that sucks. Here they come. We're not getting through. No, like, uh, too far away, aren't they? Too far away. Is that go? <laughs> so satisfying.
There's another one. Sneaky. Bertie, where are you? Sound. Dr. Mabel next. I fucking hate doctors. They're the worst. I'm in no rush to take down Dr. Mabel. Plenty of time for that. Plenty of time. Wait, what are you doing over there? Vati, you are not fucking around. I like your style. I like your style. I like your moves. What have we got? Any stuff? Mm. Stuff. I'm sure we need another LMG, do we? Yeah. No, oh, what's this? An extra slot? Don't mind if I do. Hangover. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I mean, I don't like hangovers. They suck. Um, yeah, that'll do. Why the fuck not? I got another slot. Where are you? Right there. Okay. Oh. He'll be killed. Kill or be killed. One in top Mabel it is.
I do like this weapon. Very cool. Nice style to it too. Oh jeez, not more of these boys. I do have a grenade launcher, should we see how effective that is? Very ineffective. It's like a truck. Oops. Oh well. What are you doing? Yeah, it does chew through the ammo a little bit, that, doesn't it? Fucking hell. For TNL stuff, I think it's better. Right, where were we? Doc Maybell. Well, I'm going to nip in and get that logic circuit thing, couldn't I? Fine, I'll do that. Right over there. Oh shit. Oh, Fuck me. Wander into a fight with those boys then. Are you hiding from the terroraries? That makes sense, they're fucking horrible. Where's it gone? Cool. Nice. <laughs> nice.
the pointy mouth part of a terrorist. I find that. So you're up there, aren't you, Dr. Mabel? Six five three one seventy one. Let's have a little play with the uh, energy weapon, Jim. Do it. Let's fucking do it. Uh, magazine heavy, magazine light. A shot you can go in number four. Sneaky, sneaky. Doesn't really seem very sciencey, this kind of doing bounties, does it? But, eh, you know. A lot of friends though. Right Sounds painful. Smacky sticks coming out. That's the last of them. Fucking love Smacky Stick. Love you, Smacky Stick. I love you, kitchen gun. Good job. Doc Mabel's finger survived. <laughs> We'd be fucked otherwise, wouldn't we? What's this? Blood on a stick. Blood on stick. So sharp that it cuts some letters out of its own name. Kind of melee for 41 DPS. Repair it. Got fucking loads. It's all good. It is totally the uh, the worst. From a damage oh, yeah, actually, it's just a ma marginally worse than it. Machine gun, light machine gun, condition 100, condition 100. And we don't need three of them. Assault rifle, light assault rifle. That can't be a uh, light, can it? Three kilograms. Yeah, throw up. They're not just fucking rubbish. Where's the bolter pistol? Better damage than the plasma rifle. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? What's in here? Me and Smacky Stick will find out. Hello? Space of police.
Interesting that there's a lot of these uh, like long service oh nice. Long service awards coming out for these uh these bandits. Marauders, sorry, they're not bandits either the marauders. Yeah, why not? We'll just log it, can't we? Very satisfying. Very satisfying indeed. We're turning these bounties, can't we? Nice. Yeah, I need to sell some shit, man. Need the shit will get off the pot, as they say. Uh, the geothermal plant, which might well break my legs. Might not, actually, it might be okay. Cool. We did it. Whee! Right, what's the quest for this one? Sound like a like um I think the um World of Warcraft bear then. Yeah. Nip in, nip out, get a logic core, get the fuck out of there, get get out of dodge. Are we in time for complex? Yeah, we're back in here, Pavati. I'm sorry, I know. I've, I've, you know I've, apparently, I need to be back in here, so. For reasons. I missed that. Look at that. See, it pays to go back. Sometimes. I want to go in there, but I know I'm not going to have the, uh, the skills to pay those bills. Missed that as well. Yeah, you don't need the bits anymore, do you, really, to be fair? Because you're all deed. I imagine there would have been some part of some kind of quest, maybe. Or some kind of prerequisites for the quest. Got a logic module for me. How did I miss that? Light. Light machine gun. Again, we don't need two, do we? Well, how much are they worth? 16 credits. It's not worth keeping it. Not worth it. It's worth keeping that probably. Bear the wait a little bit longer. Okay, next. Got the smacky stick. Safe. Just so happens. Oh, nice. Excellent stuff. 
worked out well. Worth coming back for. Did it. Let's get the fuck out of here again. Toodaloo. Skalant, I'm quite glad it didn't explode actually. That's pretty quite, would have been quite disastrous had it exploded. In 100% the newbie zone. What else have we got? We've got the Frightened Engineer. Junk. So there's another one somewhere, isn't there? Fortunately for me, um, it's well signposted where this thing is. Happy days. Oh, be very, very quiet. Yeah, mate, I'm good. Didn't realize what was going on there as well. Oh, for fuck's sake, every time. <laughs> Burning through those, uh, those heels. Do we need them or not? You alright, Pravati? Yeah, cool. Things and stuff. Did I miss it in the community? No, I picked one up in the music, didn't I? Did I? Maybe not. Maybe not. Might as well crack on over here. Get it all mopped up. Me again. Forgot something. Oh, kind of nice. Sell some stuff. Right. Value to weight ratio, please.
Look at that. Get rid of that. That can go. That can go. Junk. Not bad. Worth nineteen and you weigh fifteen. You're worth seven point five and you weigh one. Can go. One of these can go. One of these can go. Quite recall what I've got stashed. No, I'll do for now. Weird place for armor parts, but okay. I'm fine with that. Need be. Excuse me, sprats. Don't want no trouble. How do I get up? Ooh, fancy telly. Definitely saw some stairs somewhere. Okay, right, 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 left, left, up. Man, I am missing things left, right, so it's not like me at all, this. I'm usually obsessively trying to find things to the point of uh, madness. Clear all the marauders out though, so that's something. You can come up here. Wow. Yeah. Go back to uh, Havati's boy. That's a beer I've missed. And a mock apple juice. It spaces Joyce. Stay hydrated, troops. Always stay hydrated.
Tell me about your day. What have you done today? I have had a training session. I've been out for a little bit of food. I had a subpar, some kind of chili beef brisket thing. It was alright, nothing great. Um, what else? Did a day in work, of course. Very much a trend. Monday to Friday, that seems to happen. For me, come through here. The lights are on. Yeah, I thought they were already actually. Race. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. Yeah, that was a waste of time. Zoe was a pain in the ass. You boys and girls better tool up now, though, because you're going to be on the radar of the Marauders, aren't you? If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. So I hear. Hi there, Thomas. Present for you. In luck finding one of those manuals? Mate, not just one of them. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Number one. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of sticks and potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. Yeah, weird, that, isn't it? Two whole data pads. Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Guess what, Thomas? Guess what? Well, don't keep me in suspense. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? I really went. Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. It was. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm going to be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Uh... Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we can help, Thomas. Build some robots. I've been saving something for you. It's just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. What's on your mind? My mate fancies you. Hey there. Is there anything I do to like up the armor rating of this particular thing? Well, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like just pimp out this and keep it for a long, long time, couldn't I? I'll do that. Yep. And keep on keeping on. Uh, 
it's essentially a silencer for a plasma rifle. Can I do with this anything cool? Energy assault rifle. All right, um, what next? We're getting through them, aren't we? We're nearly done, in fact. Nearly done. Do I need to see Grace? I should probably go see, not Grace. Fucking what's her face, Adelaide. What's her face? What's her bollocks? Oh. of electricity it whispers across the veil like the winds have changed you've done well you're gonna need robots i would have paid my last five bits to see the look on reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence <laughs> brutal blunt as a hammer <laughs> but you're right nothing can undo the past time's come to look toward the future you'll grow i expect have them build some walls and no some robots. I don't look forward to turning folk away. Camp's gotta stay pure though. Can't have corporate loyalists mixing with us, no matter how desperate they may be. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. Um. Yeah, I think it's not boring, to be honest. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. No, they put me on a colony ship and they just fucked me off to protect their bottom lines. So fuck the corporation. You are welcome here. Build some robots. Haven't you ever seen a novelty paperweight? No. Whatever absurd accusations you have churning about in your mind, I assure you I have heard them all. I remember a Eugene. Pleasant enough, boy. Whatever happened to him? Yeah. Do I look physically capable of harming anyone? Oh, I made that leap. I did nothing wrong. The deeds were harvested from a body that went cold long before my tools ever touched it. Gold does not decompose. The teeth had to be removed. And while I am no licensed dentist, I should think I did a fair job of it. I cannot tell you how refreshing it is to converse with a rational mind. That's exactly right. Rot is necessary for life. A corpse is bursting with the nutrients a young sapling craves. The crops I grow here are natural, nutritious, healthy. My garden does more than fill the fuck bellies me. of my flock. <laughs> falling ill. What the fuck have I done? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Do you see anyone ailing in my camp? Unlike the people in Edgewater, my flock don't fall. He's saying their decomposing bodies is acting as a vaccination. I'd rather they learn to help themselves by leaving that dreadful town behind. The people in this camp all had the courage to walk away from the cannery. And you see how happy they are. Uh... <laughs> the Vale's barren. Been that way for years. Soil's been sterile about as long as I can remember. All I did was follow nature's own way. Death is essential to life. When the spirit leaves the body, the body returns to the earth from whence it came. What remains is a carcass moldering neath the soil. Decomposition is a natural process, essential to new life. All life feeds on other life. Varty? Oh, I don't know. If it was me, 
I'd be glad to volunteer. Keeping others alive, that'd be a beautiful gift to read. Oh, Pilate. None of the folk you used had a say. You didn't ask, ma'am. And what about my dad? I talked to his grave every Saturday. Is, is he even there? Robert was just where you left him, dear. He died too long ago. By now, he's not but a skeleton. Whatever you say, my dear. Let's think about this. Fucking hell. Where are we headed? Yeah, anywhere away from this crazy oh, lady. Yeah, I'm off. I am fucking off. You're all cannibals. You're all cannibals. You, you're a cannibal. Keep your wits about you. You don't think we'd steal. You're sick. You're a mentalist. Well, we've certainly met some characters so far, haven't we? Let's quickest way back to town. Sprinting. Very, very quick. There seems to be no limit on sprinting either, which is pretty cool. Just keep powering through, no stamina to worry about. Oh, there is. There's a decrease in that experience bar, isn't it? That's fine. It's all good. Can run indefinitely. Uh-oh. Silly. Wasn't looking where I was going. Are you okay? Cool. What are you doing over here? Worst lookout ever. Smacky stick. <laughs> Very satisfying indeed. Up on somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah, you're cowering. Scared of the smacky stick. You should be. Holes. You okay? There we go.
I start using my environment a little bit more cleverly, can I? Or start doing that. Where am I there? I need to be. What's here? Hit abandoned industrial zone. Have I been there yet? I think I would have been there. Here's what landing pad. Ludwig, my friend, I bring glad tidings. Re the logic controller issue. I'll come back for those red blips. Ludwig, 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 Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical horde. Looks like it. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. Maybe more than two, sunshine. Something to remember me by. Shock stick. Oh, I thought I'd had one of those. Better. It's a better smashy stick. Yes. Happy days. Fucking beautiful. Oh, I should have modded this one really, but fuck it. Oh yeah. Nice. No, I can't mod it any further though because we've got two mods on it. Fair enough. Let's repair some armor while we are here. Yep. Break it down now. Mm -mm. Oh, I think uh, I can think it. Uh... Tinkering complete. Great times. Great times. Oh, this isn't going to go well for me, though. It's done now, isn't it? Fucking, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, Reed? Fuck all, son. Fuck all. We'll turn on our bounties. We'll have a word with you. We'll get the fuck off this planet. 
out of dodge, move on with our lives. Constable Rees. Miley Cyrus. At the moment. Make it quick, please. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? <laughs> Lol. Mabel Burgess. Age 37. Right or left-handed? Let's just say, no longer. Oh, you. I remember Doc Burgess. You card. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Yep. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Mm -hmm. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. You've done such a bang up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper oh, to thank you, very much. you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all Marauders, regardless of prior affiliation <laughs> to the Spacer's Choice brand, sorry, Constable. As You're right. Our people. Ever since the company first settled the veil, life's good out here, but it ain't easy. Some folks can't keep pace with the demands of frontier life. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Uh-huh. I recall young Eugene. Good kid. Nice smile. Fussy about his health, though. Took a little too much adrenatide. That'll do a number on your brain matter. Yeah. It says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of adrenatine. What's on your mind? See ya. We could push down the science route at this point, or we could keep pushing through to engineering. I mean, we probably need to throw a few points in the lane now. We've got a better, an even better smacky stick. I mean, handguns and weapons are quite far behind now, but maybe dodge and block. Or should we tech up? Hmm. Let's go defense. Okay, we're all done. We are all done. No botchlings. What's a joke there? Read, my friend. How do I block? Okay, makes sense. Mr. Reed. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. That's a fine, how do you do? I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. Conrad tells me Eugene wasn't a suicide. I found Eugene's teeth. I don't understand. I found Eugene's body. I know the guy shot himself. Wait, are you telling me he was murdered? Maybe. Okay. He was plagued? Oh, wow, that's awful. I helped carry his body out. I could have been infected. Yes, Phyllis, but this you weren't, were you? a little too much for me to take in. But I guess if Eugene wasn't a suicide, our town won't have to pay a penalty. Yeah, I need all the help you can get to be fair, Phyllis. So fuck you. spinning a tale about a lost colony ship. Yeah. Do you want his teeth? You what? How? No, no, Please no, 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 no. It wasn't me. Someone else did. Merciful law. 
Why would they do a thing like that? Or what is it? Hey now, I wasn't planning on eating the poor guy's remains. He wasn't going to use those teeth, and we could have sold them off to help the town. Look, this is going to sound weird. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Eugene was a good worker who did his best for I'm us. Well, I couldn't do it at this point. Better, and his remains deserved better. I'm saying I'd like to buy his teeth. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Go on then. Only if it's not too much to ask. I'm not going to sell him. I'm not going to pawn him off. I'll just, I don't know, stick his teeth in an old spacer's choice can and leave him in his grave, where they belong. Yeah, all right, you have them. Thanks. I won't forget this. I'll let you get back to work. <laughs> Right, read. Where are you? There you are, read. Now, bear in mind, read, I can kill you at any point, okay? Don't try any funny business. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion, and you wandered into our midst. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn in. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Why did I do it? Is I right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Adelaide wants nothing more than to see this town suffer. To see me suffer. All you've done is satisfied her hatred. Mm. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. All right, easy. <laughs> not Call him off, right? Call him off. There's been enough death already. Take what you came for, and then leave us be. Stand down, all of you. We're done. Thank you, Reed. I would have killed every single one of you. We are fucking donezo. Let us now fuck off into space. Hundred percented, clear slate. Fucking did it. There's obviously a lot of help from markers. Best markers. Oh shit. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, that would have sucked. I mean, come on, it was it wasn't gonna be a great reputation anyway, was it? Let's be honest. Vicar. Should we take the vicar with us or not? Are we getting paid or not? Any loss of productivity will be deducted from your pay. Now's the time to desert. Maybe Adelaide was right for me. Got my hands full at the moment. Make it quick, please. Vicar. 
There you are, you must be in here, mustn't you, with your observatory and all that. What do you think troops we've taken with us? You see if he still wants to come. Adelaide, what do you think? Yeah, huh? What are you gonna do now? Gotta come with me. She's got to. Too important. Vicar Max. I'm glad you stopped by. I've been meditating since you retrieved that book. <laughs> Stewing might be a better word. I have a proposition for you. Go on. You're my best chance at getting that book translated and maintaining my sanity. In short, I'm asking you to take me on as. Is it good or bad luck to have a vicar on board? Please, those dolts. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aether Wave program. Yeah, go on then. Fantastic. I promise you won't regret this. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Miss Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. It is my esteemed pleasure to serve as your crew vicar, Captain. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty. What's occupied? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book... It oh, it's a lead, I suppose. That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. Mm -hmm. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifests to track the philosophist's off-world destination. Simple. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. Mm. Come on. Let's go back to the ship. Pavati, I want you to come with me, but I don't think you will. I hope you'll be okay here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I've taken their power. And their vicar. Oh, monster. Is this where we have the Leaving Town shootout? I left by the wrong door, didn't I? Like a fool. At least I spared some lives. Uh, good news and bad news, Silas. Uh, good news is the botanic. Lab has got power again. Over the power. Cannery shutting down just means I'll have more bodies to bury. That's point gold nature, Silas. Yeah. Golden age for Silas. Oh, 
heard something about bodies and fertilizer, but well, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Nothing major. I really want Pavati to stay with me. I really like her. I think she's good. She's got personality. Ooh. We try out the new smacky stick. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Vickers handy with a shotgun. Fucking hell. Good work. Maybe I don't regret that decision after all. Nice work, Padre. Nice work. Oh, how I love the new smashy stick. All aboard the good ship, unreliable. Is this your ship? Oh, my stars, she is just so happy. Awesome, Austin Cheaper Party. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Well, Pavati, today is your lucky day. Falling to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me. No, come with me. I've worked on the occasional supply coach in need of repairs. Once what about we just craft, go for a little part, spin and I'll drop you right back off. How's that sound? I want to ask you something and you can say no. But can I come with you? Well, I could tend to your you insist. I know my G valves for my catalyzers and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. Yeah, man. What do you think? Absolutely. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. You've earned your place on the Unreliable. I can call you Captain now. Ha! I got a captain. Fucking boss. Nice one. Vicar and an engineer. Vicar to the max. Here we go. Here we go. Ada, I've got some good news. I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without... Don't worry about that. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Uh, that's what an odd that thing mean, to say. Captain? Guess what? Do you know how to install a power uh, elevator? I don't. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Okay. I'll be back. Vati, come on, it's engine time. I'm excited about going into space for the first time. So, this is a. 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 Use the engineering 20 to do that. Yeah. There you are. Ada, it's done. Workbench, got a power regulator. I'm great. Got a locker with some Adreno in that I missed before somehow. What can I do for you, Captain? I did a thing. 
All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Cool. No, I'm fucking done with this backwater town. communication request from Dr. Phineas Rowe. You've got fucking time. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Um, you normal. could call it that. Yeah. You could call it that. <laughs> Two. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. I mean, it's been quite useful, to be fair. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You know what, I Stellar Bay on Monarch. I agree. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Chemicals? Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Uh, slow down, you asked me to get involved in the black market. Finally, I've ordered Gladys. So, yeah. Uh, come on now. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Why do I need enough key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lost. Yeah, <laughs> sounds awesome. You love it. Lots Captains of fun for Smacky Stick. Their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Okay. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence. Miss Gladys called Kelly. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, that was very loud. <laughs> Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Mm, fair enough. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Yeah, all right. Go on, then. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. Is it a helmet? I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the captain's quarters. Watch that. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Found. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something right, like okay. that. Movement makes it more like I'm sure that won't catch me out at all. Best used It'd lead to hilarious consequences. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. 
Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Mm. Is that a uniform? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy serial? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? Every single NPC in masks not only Phantom Pain. Your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Hmm. How the hell? Science, that's how. Oh, I love science. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. Yeah, I think it's not clear at this stage. I'm not pro board. Their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart. Please select a destination on your navigation terminal. I'm going to go and check out this holographic shroud first. Ooh. Look at this. We're in space. Yeah. Fucking love space. Right. It's all very, like, like, lifty. Um, right. Captain's quarters. Here she is, Pavati. Fucking legend. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. No, you're better off in the engine room than the kitchen. Seen it. That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA 120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. And? The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? I'm not sure we can get started about it. All particulars, I conclude you are Edgewater's board certified mechanic. <laughs> it's not intelligent, but it does a good imitation. So you're going to call her it, not she? Though my voice is currently pitched to suggest female, I possess no gender. Any pronoun preferred by the See? user is acceptable. Hello. Don't make assumptions. I am not a board certified mechanic, but my dad was. <laughs> he taught me all he knew. Do you understand? <laughs> Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it. I asked a question and you answered it. I am glad a long way from Edgewater now. I am at your disposal, Ms. Parvati. You will find the technical schematics in the engineer's locker. Though I'm afraid Captain Hawthorne has lost the owner's manual. Fucking Hawthorne. Sorry, that was me and I was not yet. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. Oh. Did you learn your trade from your father? Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. Let's see the humor. Reed seems to have it in for you. Yeah, Reed was a fucking bell in there. I'm not exactly a model employee. Not like you wanted. The kind that stays quiet and gets the right work done in the right order every day. It's not normal for anyone to do as their parents. You take a vocational test. That decides your schooling and your career. When I tested the goat. Out for maintenance, everyone figured the it space was goat. my dad. They were real unhappy with us. Well, I'm good at making things work the way they ought. Not so much at doing such to somebody else's schedule. Well, looking for you, this is a flat management structure on this ship, and then nobody will hold you accountable for anything ever. Deadline. Anyhow, I, I was happy to get back home. I didn't care much for schooling. 
Don't like your glasses. Oh, a whole lot of reading. Not nearly enough doing. Oh, Bavati, like, you're a woman after my own wrench, heart. They wanted an essay on the design of different wrenches. Then there'd be quizzes on company regulations for storage and maintenance of wrenches. As soon as I got permission, I spent all my time in the machine shop. They had all manner of parts, but they didn't want me using them, so I had to sneak them sometimes. Fair enough. I even slept in there. Had a hammock tied up in the rafters. Before I left, I installed a little skylight for myself. So I could see the stars. Mate, have you been to the front of the ship? When an engine came in, I'd strip it down and rebuild it. I mostly built for myself. Custom tools. Little mechanical critters to talk to. When my roommates tried to talk, I'd get so nervous I'd be drenched in sweat. It was easier for everybody when I stayed off on my own. I doubt any of them remember me now. Fuck him. Fuck him. Yep, nothing much had changed. Everything was a little grayer, a little dirtier. Dad met me at the shuttle and gave me a big old hug. I noticed straight away that he was moving slower. And stiffer. He made a little grunt when I squeezed. About a year. I tried to do more of the work so he could rest. His heart gave him pain. Dad never said that he loved me, you know? I, I knew on account of him showing it. Look, we've got a bit deep here, Pavati. Jesus. Project. I don't know you. Listen to my fretting. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look at the time. Sorry to bend your ears so long. And I got so much to do before this ship's in decent shape. Yeah, no, it's fine. Whatever. It's all good. Three times over, although I have no authority. They don't even listen. It's fine. Engine room. Yes. Definitely an engine room. In here. Mm. Yeah, sneaky little bathroom. Everything appears to be in order. Some spectrum vodka. Oh yeah, that's for later. Ooh. Come on then. Free candy. What the fuck is that? Radio. It's captain's quarters. No. I expect the captain's quarters to be a little bit grander. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Pills. Come up for you. Come up. We need to clean these windows. I hope uh, Pavati's going to do that as part of a. Oh, she's certainly wasted no time getting her shit in uh, in her room. Is she. I'm fine with that. It's Jesus, what the fuck is this? Yeah, back away slowly. Uh, hey there. <laughs> um, there's a thing. Okay. As always, I am at your disposal. What's occupying your thoughts? How much you look like. Robert De Niro. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you right now. I haven't found the captain's quarters yet. I feel like it must be this. Or maybe it's this one. Maybe the map will tell me. Mechanical room. So weird. Ooh, there we go. What I'm talking about. This luxury.
Alex Hawthorne, have you got any messages? Oh, you got the answer. I think I've got I'm going to go a copy of my favourite serial, The Space Adventure Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of, well, steel. I'm exactly bored of Prue, so don't go showing it around to your space buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're out adventuring. Aye. Oh, dumb. I forget you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical. Sam. Course. Then we'll be able to scrap it during your last job. That'll be too difficult to get up and running with a few key modifications. I can envision a combat capable variant. You can war janitor. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Should be fun. Some might say that. Removal of factory standard part Sud Steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified part Acid Steeper has been delayed. The rest setback is estimated now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to, uh, but I do. I'm giving up hope on the delivery of the parties lost in transit it's not turning up anytime soon. But good news, I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who ever charged me for the information regarding the location of an acid steeper I can uh filch. The part was sent to an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following the next pit stop, back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants you to chaperone some person of interest. Details to come later. The person of interest was me, and he died on that job. So I saw charge with only two eyes, a sublimely powerful weapon in Wells' lab, just sitting there for the taking. If the grey hair was to look away, I forget about it, maybe. If I had asked a smidgen more nicely, he called it a shrink wave, but wouldn't let me test its claim that I lost my temper. He was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and decency laws. I had heard rumours of fantastical weapons like this one, weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science is cutting edge. I figured they were just stories, to be honest. Laying eyes on Wells' shrink where first hand is enough to make a fellow wonder if there's more to the rumours, more to be had. Sounds like there probably is. Last time I got sloshed, I mean, I was imbibing the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. I shamelessly but subtly eavesdropped on two Maradets, Mardets, sorry, yammering on about a mad scientist from years back who claimed he made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony. And none of us had ever heard that one before, but here is the good part. The Mardets said the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer's power or something similar. A strange weapon with a strange power created by a crazy lab coat sure fits the bill. I want the shrink way, I've decided. I don't trust me that I use it to wipe out the good hardworking folks of the colony like some sort of moral moralist psycho. I admit to maintain some questionable associations by follow a strict code of me, myself and mine. What's not to respect in that? Now I have to wait until Vel Wells forgets or thinks he's misplaced it. In the meanwhile, I have been tracking down additional rumours pertaining to the others of these science weapons. Got Halcyon. If gossip holds true, my next step will be to check with the black market merchants on the groundbreak and in Fallbrook. Okay. Exit leave conversation. Weird. Alright. Do you have a little sleep? Ah, oh, look at that view. They're beautiful. Alright, Ada. Talk to me. Welcome back, Captain. Thank you. The unit is a clean one again. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. I'm not sure I want to. Alex recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. He did. If you check the terminal in your captain's I have. Orders, we may be able to determine what work remains in I order do. for Sam to properly operate. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Play me some music. 
Now playing a Fated Choice advertisement jingle. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle <laughs> their favorite song. Fuck's sake. I used to hate math, but then I realized decimals have a point. You get out. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Um. Terra 2. Where is Terra 2? Emerald Vale and Edgewater. Is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale, or it was when first built. Since then, neglect uh, and time yeah. has worn away her shining veneer. Somebody shot off the their power as well. The coordinates for Captain Hawthorn died. It would not be unfortunate if something, like say a plague, were to wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. Well, we'll see what happens. You mean the ones who did not answer my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my <laughs> injured captain a parking ticket? Got a good point, Ada. You got a good point. Humans ...who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. Since you diverted power to the deserters, the botanical lab is thriving. However, Emerald Vale's cannery shut down, leading to a total Jesus. collapse of Edgewater's population. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's always going to happen. Captain. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Uh, the groundbreaker. We are clear to dock with the groundbreaker if that's your desire. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triple. Oh, I don't have to. The Mardets take their docking laws quite seriously. Okay. I can. Yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Sound. Thank you. You are more than welcome, Captain. Go on. The Groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange flank of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the Groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Okay. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms and triplicates, and fees have been paid. Very kind of you, Ada. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm going to get some sleep, Goodbye. and then we'll make, make our way to the groundbreaker. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let me check that robot's still here. It's being weird. Yeah, hmm, I can see with you. What a day. What a day. Make yourself at home, Captain. Uh, I have, thanks. Right, let's go to the ground break, right? The unreliable navigation terminal. Sounds good. Oh, this is pretty. Do we want to finish this lab first, or we go straight to the groundbreaker? Let's go to the groundbreaker. Meow. Oh, a bit late now, isn't it?
<laughs> Thank you, Ada. Do you want to come with me, Vivati? Okay. Well, I'm kind of. I'm in, I need hey, the edge brush. I heard the Groundbreakers got a real good engineer, a lady named June Lay Tennyson. Okay. I was thinking that maybe I'd ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Sure, why not? I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borson beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Yeah, okay. I abso surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Passing fair, Martin that's good. That's like a 70% of that. Still. It's a pass. But I'm used to working on cannery lines. AG loaders and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. You better not be leaving that my crew and joining hers. Gosh, no, Captain. I aim to stay so long Good. and welcome. We've come this far, Pavati. And I could confabulate over wireless or by message. Okay, that and works. Maybe when we put into Groundbreaker, I could stop by to visit her sometimes. But only when you don't need me with you. Sound. Okay, should we go over now? Captain, I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Vicar to the max. Do you want to talk about something else? Uh, no. Nope. We're good. Vicar, do you want to do something? Do some like goddy stuff? Or lorry stuff, sorry. Right. I find myself marveling at the complex simplicity of the Fibonacci spiral. I'm sure you know what that Honestly, means. every single day. Something vexing you, Captain? Uh, no, nah, I'll chat to you later on. We've done a lot of reading. And take a little break. I'm going to have a mooch around on the groundbreaker for the first time. How exciting. Come with. Yeah. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. I should bring them both. Do it. Bit of a, a bit of a mooch around with them. See if the vicar can't prove himself to not be a cock. We'll see. He doesn't seem like a great vicar. He seems like a cock. And also, I'm going to call him Padre from now on. Great thing to do. Hello. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. Thank you, Jane Elson. Don't mind the heat. Got a few days before it reaches critical. I'm sure Miss Chief Tennyson. What the fuck is going on here? Then. Is the groundbreaker broken? Am I gonna have to fix it? Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Pretty cool, isn't it? To be fair. Oh, beautiful ship. That's not the point. This hat was just knocked out one of my workers. So? Yeah, with a toss ball stick. I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. Felix, you look like you need to join my crew. Again, you little backbeat brat. I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. Yeah, back off, Sunshine. I don't have time for this. Here, take this. I'll be seeing you later. What's up, dude? Going for a stroll around the docking base? Yeah. All right. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and Sound. me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the Chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of bullshit. And he just fucking smacked him. <laughs> oh boy. Look, this was a long time coming. 
Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Uh, I mean, he's well, uh, former dock worker. He's your boss, like, to be fair. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours. Oh, that old thing. So your ship's got a dark and violent history? <laughs> this is oh, Felix. Too perfect. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off. Guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Oh, not at all. Just, uh, you know, gonna figure out what You're gonna doing. fucking stow away, aren't you? See you around, boss. I'm gonna find you on my ship in a bit. Uh, I know your game. Not it. Just a ride. Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. I hope Wheeler's a robot with wheels. That'd be, that'd be a fun turn of events. Mm, steel things. Stevedore. It's always fucking freezing in the bay. Well, you're in space, dude. Customs and inspection, right this way. Yeah, I'm going. I didn't know a robot. Please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about oh, to... Oh, Wheeler. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Fuck's sake, Wheeler. We've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. I did have a sleep. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. That's that sass Vicar Max. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, Udom. our board representative here on. Oh Earth. shit! He knows who. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's bad news. Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I mean, I didn't kill Hawthorne. I should be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I have to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Yeah. Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. Might be y'all could come to accords if you play your cards right. Huh. Records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. You might not be in this pickle for long. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. A handful of sand cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. That sounds like something that would be else. useful for my some units. She started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, it's uh, all good. Oh, oh, you could do with seeing Gladys. Defense. You'll find her in the rescue zone. <laughs> on your left when you enter the promenade. Casual. Make sure you bring an empty belly. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. Not. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. You mean the heat? Sure, we can make them fix it, but what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that. Oh, Pavati. Would they? A sweet summer child. The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. 
It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Okay. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Very helpful, <laughs> Corporal Leonard Wheeler. See you later. You. I'm sure I'll stumble across somebody with a job soon enough. Right, what are we wearing? I want to whip that off. Um, the hibernation suit back on. I hope we don't get in a fight. I think I don't need two of these either. Smacky stick is always to hand. Get rid of that. Okay, let's go and do a thing. How many quests have we got now? Fucking smashed Emerald Veil, didn't we? Every single quest that I found. Yeah, we'll do that first. Hi there, everyone. This is it. Security. I can check the departure circuits and find out which crew ship, I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with. Wait, is this restricted area? It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham? Graham, right? Graham. Broadcasting on a dead world Graham. of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. That's Who true. That? Graham. Ooh, look how lovely this place is. By the glare of the adverbs, lots of unsavory kinds of them. Can't see nothing. It's gone for a day while. Oh, I can feel the frames just dropping away here. I will not reduce the quality. Jesus Christ. Nope. I know she's in there, Mfuru. You can't keep me out of there. Ellie? Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Nobody said anything about causing a scene. See, Umfuru, we could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. You say that like it's weird. Yeah, that's just curious. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Give the money to me, and I will give it to Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Well, lucky for you, I know all about medicine. And hospitals do loads of stuff with medicine, so... What seems to be the problem? I'm a medicine man. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so okay. no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. See ya. Take care. What if I put on a doctor's outfit kind of thing? 
with the BT stick. Hello, I'm a doctor. Something I can help you with? Yes. Um, doctoring business. Not without dispensation from Chief June Lake, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. How do you mean? We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. No. Take care. I'm not going to get shot on sight if I walk in here. I'm wearing a doctor's up. Hello. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it. No, I'm a doctor. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Yeah. I'm expecting our delivery fellow to stop through with medical supplies and service auto mechanicals. Name's Captain Erion. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Enchant. Sometimes by date, and usually by bandit. Surgery mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. Wait, if there's any more. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Phila, an asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. That's where I'd start. Were I the adventuring type. Oh, okay. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Well, I've got an outlaw outfit as well. So. Ding. Nice. Why do you have such a terrifying... That's horrible. Oh, God. Medical. Oh, um, yeah. Um, melee. No, we're good for melee for now. General tech. I've got, I've got underlings now, so maybe I need to be like a leader. Inspiration to make sure it's fifty points each. Okay, yeah, that, that's fine. Um. Ooh. More melee. Dodge and block. No, uh, more dialogue. Yep, that's fine. What perk now? Fifty percent base health might be useful. I want to do the XP thing. I don't want to speed this up necessarily. I'm always going to have someone with me. Twenty-five percent walk speed. I do walk a lot. Base armor. Go base armor. There's a bit more freedom then, isn't it? Cool. Okay, so I need to go and speak to this geezer now. You are terrifying. Can't steal anything. Not going to. Restricted access. Okay, so at least I'm not going to like blunder into it and get my fucking ass handed to me. But I am 
the doctor. See what happens. Hello, I'm Dr. Tandler. Ah, sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Smacky stick. That's the last of them. Whoopsie. Um. Maybe we go back. <laughs> Didn't quite know what was going to happen there. Oh. Well, that makes more sense. Hello. I'm now um not a doctor. I'm a mordet. Hi. Hello. Looking sharp. Something the matter? No, 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 I'm all good. I'm just uh gonna have a little bit of a mosey on over here. You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. Pretty cool mechanic this actually I quite like it. For the last rats is on button time. Leave me in peace. Yes, he doyle. You're not sick at all. This is nonsense. Sure, I do have at least one ear and an intent to listen. Yeah, see? When you come a little bit closer, I don't really want to move. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. Mm -hmm. You uh, ain't with the board, are you? Certainly not. See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. How did you fake? An infectious disease. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law abiding denizen of the ship, I swear. You'd let a poor, ill woman get disappeared. You're not ill, you just told me you're not ill. Awfully cold blooded of you. Though I admire your backbone. Oh. Alright, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. Oh. I specialize in particularly high end and historically valuable items. Science weapons, perhaps? Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond. And it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. 
thanks for helping me with the board. I'm going to talk to him anyway. And I can do with a thief on me on me team. Ellie is one, huh? Right. Let's get the fuck out of here before we run out of power. And this thinger. Hi there. No, I'm uh, just a doctor. That's all. Don't you worry. Don't worry about a thing. Ellie. Any word on Jesse? Well, yes. Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Is that it? I'd go with you to see the board's rep, but it's a little great risk. I spoke to that person. Something I can help you with. Be around. Take care. Can I use this terminal. Or get shot if you use it. Yeah, I feel like it's important that the groundbreaker stays independent, to be honest. Ooh. What now? I don't need to go there yet. So passage to anywhere. Let's see if we get rumbled by the skeezer who knows Hawthorne. Of their outhouse, you take away a cruise plumbing, you take away their privacy and dignity. So let's get that toilet fixed. Let's get our boy back. Day three, freelancers. Always. Low fucked belt bucket. <laughs> nice man. Oh shit. Okay. Especially hate mail. What's your name? Fifty six times in six hundred thirty two days. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. I feel like I'm going to have a stowaway when I go back to my ship anyway, so... It's not bad, that. It's a pretty good, pretty good jingle. Ooh, do you have any salvaging missions for me? 
Miss Lilia takes good care of us, see? Yes, sir. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. The boss, I love having you around. Interesting, to say the least. Some like for less. The corporations never lift their finger from us. Got any leads on salvage? Doesn't even have to be broke yet. We'll take anything. Is that just stealing stuff? Miss Lilia takes good care of us, see? The authorities stay off our trail. Go see Miss Lilia. Bias. I'm here to see Miss Lilia. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. <laughs> you want flying the unreliable? How the fuck did you know that? Sure you are. <laughs> Miss Lily has been expecting you. Oh, you All yeah. Mm, okay, fair enough. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on a simple acquisition. You know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn. Are you a pirate? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. You look like a pirate. Minus the parrot. Hi there, I'm Captain Hawthorne. I'm Ron Burgundy. So you're the new captain in town. I was no, not new. Captain Hawthorne. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. <laughs> I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't um, come. Yeah? I'll be honest, eh? she clearly knows that I'm not Captain Hawthorne. Charmed. It's nice to see the unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. I didn't kill him. <laughs> I did not. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings, but... Of course there is. There's always a catch. Just like in Serial. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I can have one of those, actually. First, no an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off-world. New regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. Uh, okay, salvage, in inverted commas. I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. Gladys that the rest can go. Man, I'm a lot of salvaging. I'm gonna fucking do this. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Oh, maybe not now. I'm shattered. I'm not going to bed. IRL. I take it sublet is strictly a salvage operation. Depends on your definition of salvage, right? Business all but runs itself. Gives me the time to expand our interests into other sectors where I can let my hair down. What kind of other sectors? Our field is persuasive <laughs> acquisitions. At least that's how my legal advisors tell me to phrase it. Persuasive acquisitions. Not all of our salvage is abandoned when we find it. Sometimes it takes a polite conversation. And a shot across Love the it. bow. Love it. Legit you know, pirates. Legal formalities. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Thank you. I work hard <laughs> to keep it that way. How organized is this business? Very. I have this thing about numbers and spreadsheets. Grids in general. I like to think of myself quite the type. as the last honest businesswoman in Halcyon. But I'll settle for being the most organized one. Solid. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board. And sorry, sorry, yeah, you're right, Lily. You are right. I apologize. Sublight occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. What's my other questions? Ask. I can't remember what they were. I have nothing to hide. I'm leaving. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. Interesting. 
Pursuant to regulations following internally preserved borst, such as business entity, would therefore be entitled to gather, maintain, and ultimately dispose of decommissioned agricultural hardware and accessories for profit or convenience. Cool. Bacon, then. Let's go and get some bacon. Hello? Salvage is a family business. You guys are... Anyone else is a family business? The Mafia. You sound like a Mafia man. Don't mind me. Just, uh, yep. Yeah. Off I go. Thank you, Tobias. You were very, uh, helpful. Talk to Miss Lily if you're looking for work. That's a good question. Um, yes. Yes, that sounds right. I'll make sure to include that <laughs> in the new employee salvage tutorial. <laughs> That's all I ask. Accurate onboarding documentation. Hello? Hello. Just think of that for I Where are we headed? We'll talk about it. Right, before I talk to Udom, I think I might call it a night there because I'm shattered. I'm enjoying this game now though. Very funny, it's very well written. Very cynical. I love it. It's ironic that the uh, Obsidian were bought by Microsoft. Seems to have not dampened their uh, enthusiasm for so the cynicism. The Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, this is Chief Julie's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board Oops. bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Yeah. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Lost Hope? What's that? Mustache dude on fucking Bedford. I gotta get off this detail. Wonder what's playing at the Bijou Review this week. Here's the subject. Hey. She's much cheerful, much more cheerful now. Huh? Right, let's call it a save the game. Call it a night. Thank you for watching, whoever you are. Feel free to chat, I'll always chat back with you. I'm a chatty chap. However, uh, on that note, I will say goodbye.